Hello everyone, welcome back to another Randomizer episode. Today we have a rain day and a really good luck day, so it's kind of perfect mining weather. We also have a bunch of stuff to harvest. Oh, no, maybe we only had one thing to harvest. We had a star yam. These look done. They are beautiful night lilacs. Apparently they still have two days, but they look really cool. We also have some mail. Aw, dad sent us some money. That's actually really good timing, dad, because I think tomorrow is the spring festival, so we might be able to buy some more seeds. I was saying in the last episode, oh, we can get strawberry seeds. That's going to help us tons. But I didn't realize strawberry seeds probably won't exist in this mod. So we're going to have to find out what on earth is available for us. Hopefully it's something equivalent to strawberry seeds. But the 500 gold from dad will definitely help. And um, we've got the hat mouse. And yeah, the egg festival is still happening tomorrow then. That's good to know. Hopefully there's going to be some good seeds to buy. So as I said, today would be a really good mines day. The only problem and the only drawback is one, we don't really have much food. I guess this is two drawbacks, but one, we don't have much food and two, we don't have an upgraded pickaxe and we are now on the iron levels. So I don't know what to do about that. Oh, we also need to craft a scarecrow. I forgot to do that at the end of last episode. So we need some clay, a torch and some quartz. So I'm going to do that real quick. It is unfortunate, as I said in the last episode, that we have to use some of our clay for this because obviously we're trying to keep clay for the community center since we need 47 of it. But I think we can lose just a couple of pieces, three pieces for a scarecrow. We need one. <laughs> we can't risk losing our ancient fruit, you know. It does set us back on our clay collection though, which is a shame. I'm going to place my scarecrow and then I think I'm going to run down to the merchant and just see if there's anything worthwhile there. And then I guess we'll head off over to the mines. It doesn't feel ideal to be mining today because I do want to upgrade my pickaxe, but it's going to take us a few days at least. Although we could get some fish for fishing. Since it's a rain day, maybe we should do a fishing day instead. Oh, a sprinkler is needed for the community center, but we should get that recipe right. Oh my god, that muffin looks delicious. Cold veggie berry seeds. This coffee table is cute as well. Um, I don't think there's anything we really need. The snap synth looks cool. I would imagine we get all this stuff later on down the line, but I guess it's a risk to not buy it, but I don't want to spend all my money, of course. I want to have a check at which fish we can get in the rain for spring. Most of them are for the summer, it seems. Okay, it might serve us well to go and fish at the ocean today. So I think that's what we're going to do. I don't really want to mine because I want to upgrade my pickaxe. Should I spend the money and upgrade my pickaxe today? I think I might do it. I know we're saving money for seeds, but like I really want my pickaxe upgraded and I'm getting impatient. I hate mining with the basic level pickaxe. It's just like so difficult. So I think we're going to go and upgrade it. Let's do it. Also, I'm going to open these geodes too. And since we'll be in town, I may as well donate some of these things that we have for our community center we just have a fish and a dandelion it's not much oh and we also get 100 gold from crafting a scarecrow so that's kind of nice thanks journal it does feel like we're wasting a good luck day a little bit but we might get lucky with chests if we had a good pickaxe or we'd had a lot of food because we have neither of those i don't know it was just gonna be a struggle <laughs> it's a monday morning i don't want to struggle okay we have the dandelion to donate and we have a fish nice Wait, I swear we got one of these. Didn't we? Did I not bring that? I swear we've caught one of those. Oh, I needed two of them. So it was needed in the night fishing bundle and the summer fishing bundle. Yeah, I've kind of noticed a lot of the fish overlap and you need them twice. Like the puffer earth was needed twice. This crab and this mag is also needed twice. Oh, I forgot to bring my pickaxe to upgrade it. Oops. Let me go back to the farm and get that real quick. How are you going to upgrade the pickaxe without the pickaxe, Lil? Come on. Did I mention it was Monday morning? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with processing the geodes. Give us something good, Clint. Uh, well, that's not great. You could do better than that, Clint. Oh, well, I jinxed it. <laughs> A piece of clay is actually very helpful. More coal. Okay, cool. Thanks, Clint. You tried. You did your best, I guess. And let's upgrade our copper pickaxe and it does still require five copper bars. I was slightly worried that it would like require something different. I don't know, like iridium. <laughs> Imagine if it needed iridium for a copper pickaxe. I would literally cry. Okay, let's upgrade it. Thank you, Clint. It was a lot of money, but honestly, we need it. We really need it. I can justify that in my head. Okay, hi Marnie. It's so weird to see Marnie here. One of y'all commented and it made me laugh so much. You're like, oh, Marnie's now Gunther. Yo, she'll finally work more than four days a week. <laughs> All it took to get Marnie to work more. Three rewards in a row. What the heck? 
All it took for Marnie to work more was to make her Gunther. Just install the randomizer mod and then she'll actually work. Ooh, we got the Artabarb seed and this is needed for the desert bundle. Desert bundle? Is that one we have unlocked yet? I don't know. Takes six days to mature and can be planted during summer, so we'll hold on to that for now. I'll leave these here because I don't want to fill my inventory with stuff. She says with a bunch of random stuff in her inventory. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to check these bins and then since we're in town already, I might run quickly to the saloon and just check if there's any food for sale that we need for the community center from Gus. Hi Caroline. What do you have for sale today? Spicy Loon Kuda. Is that needed? No, it doesn't seem like it. We're gonna have to do some friendship building to get these unlocked, aren't we? Oh, there's so much to do. Oh god. Gus slash Caroline is glitching again. We love to see it. Oh, the joys of the randomizer mod. Okay, let's go fishing and try and earn back this money that we just spent. Oh, these fish are so annoying. I don't know if it's just my head's not in the game today and fishing is hard or these fish are specifically annoying. I feel like it's the latter. We need a trap bobber as soon as possible, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, that's a new one, a fat 2v. It sells for 200, that's pretty good. Yo, we got the Lemapia. that's what we were looking for, that's what we were after. It's a night fish, that's so cool, look at it. I think I'm gonna stay fishing here though with the hopes that we can get some more fish to sell. Finally, we leveled up. We are now level four in fishing. That took so long. It took all day. Fishing is so hard with this mod, I swear. But the higher level we are, the easier it should get, hopefully, because our little bar will be bigger. Ooh, that's our first Iridium fish. Let's go. Okay, I think this will be our final fish because I do want to run back via the community center. And it was broken glass as well. <laughs> That's fitting, isn't it? For about how well this run is going. <laughs> no, but I want to run back through the community center and drop off the fish that we got to donate. Obviously, it's very slow progress. It's not like we're catching multiple per day for donation, which is a little bit worrying. But to be fair, there's not multiple available because it seems like there's barely any fish for the spring. Oh, I could have tried to catch another one of these. I should have done that as soon as we'd got on this one. Ah, well, we'll have to do that another day. But we have this one to donate. And that's it, unfortunately. All the others we can sell, it seems. Only one more fish needed for this bundle, though. I don't think I can get any of them in spring, unfortunately. Let's run home now, though, because it's getting pretty late and I just want to sell all of these before bed. And I'm going to do the same thing where I just keep one of each, just in case it ends up being needed at a later point. And hopefully we've made a bunch of money for seeds tomorrow. Oh, we got a life elixir from fishing? I swear that's not normal. Yo, that's such a little amount of money to make. No. Oh my god, they sell for nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, let's bring on this egg hunt. I'm gonna win. I am gonna win. I wonder if we get a randomized hat. That'll be so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna start the day with some watering, of course. We've got all of these crops to water. Do we have things to harvest yet? No, almost. We'll have some stuff ready in a day or so. That's exciting. Oh, we do have a couple things to harvest. Just some kiwi pyres. I wonder if I should hoe and water the ground in case we buy seeds at the egg festival. We want to be prepared, you know. Okay, I've counted 17 spots that we've like hoed and watered here. So there's 17 free spots to buy seeds for. So I'll keep that in mind. I'll probably end up getting a couple more if we can afford it, but we'll see. And with this extra time, I think I'm just gonna go around the farm and see if there's any forage. Every little bit of forage helps, especially if we think about mining and needing food. Also the egg festival has now began, so I need to run there. We really don't have much spending money, unfortunately. I hope we can even afford 17 seeds. We'll see see I guess. I'm definitely gonna win ourselves a hat though. That's for sure. Okay, here we are. Leah is selling. What do we have? Cold veggie berry seeds. Okay, well, they seem to be equivalent to strawberries maybe. Oh, the harvest price is 72. Hmm, I don't think that is equivalent to strawberries, is it? Definitely not. I mean, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get 17. They do keep producing after their first harvest. So if we plant them today, we should get two harvests, right? I think I probably will buy some more seed packets, like some different ones. I feel like the kiwi pie has sold for more, maybe. That's a bit underwhelming. We definitely had enough money for them, though. Oh, there's some real weirdness going on. <laughs> this just doesn't feel right. What is the pairings here? Seb and Evelyn? <laughs> Maru and Maru. There's two Marus, Sebastian and Abigail are Maru. 
but Abigail is Nurse Maru and Sebastian's normal Maru. <laughs> What? Why? This is so weird. Oh my god. Gunther, Sandy, and Kent. Who are you? Caroline, Demetrius, and Robin. I didn't even know they all stood together anyways. This is so odd. Rasmodius and Jody. <laughs> really 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 odd and kind of hilarious i'm just gonna start i think who are we gonna be doing this against it's not gonna be kids it's literally gonna be full-grown adults <laughs> morris nurse maru demetrius emily and Haley. <laughs> this is so funny we're egg hunting against morris let the egg hunt begin okay here's one. Oh, i'm stressed one up here i gotta win i do okay i've got five so far how many do I have to get, do you wonder? I've got seven. Okay, I've got ten. I think this should be enough, right? I think that's all I'll get. Emily's just staring at a rock. I relate. She's just there disassociating at a rock. That is me at social events, to be fair. <laughs> wow, look at all these eggs. Okay, did I win is the main question everyone's wondering. Is it Lil? Why, yes, indeed, it's Lil. Of course it is. Silly billies. Yay, we get a measly hat. I was really excited to see if it was going to be something different, but no. Either way, let's put on our little straw hat because we earned it. And now let's plant all of these as well. Oh, and our copper pickaxe is ready, but it is a bad luck day, so no mining today. And we do have a recipe on the telly. We've got coleslaw. It also seems like it's raining. Yeah. Oh my god, not the skulls. This is so trippy. I hate it. Oh, but we got loads to harvest. We got some water corn. We've got lime pears and night lilacs too. The night lilac is the only thing that's donatable. Oh, look at the different colors. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I'm so confused at why nothing is donatable. I think I might run to Pierre's and buy a couple more kiwi pies. They seem to sell for quite a bit, like 226. That's good. I might also sell a couple of ours. I'm going to keep hold of one of each of those crops as well, just in case we need them. I will donate the night lilac as well, but probably not yet. I want to get a couple more things before we start donating. I also want to run down to the merchants as well today and pick up my pickaxe. So there's a lot to do. We're probably going to end up with another fishing day today, to be honest, because it is the only way we're really earning money right now, even though it's barely any. Okay, is there anything we need here? No, it doesn't look like we need any of this stuff. Tomachoki? Wow, that's so pretty. This mod has the prettiest flowers, that's for sure. Okay, let's sell all of these. And I'm going to buy kiwi pies, I think. Yeah, they take 10 days, so that will be worthwhile for us. So I'm going to get like 20 of these. It's a lot to water, but it will be fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get 30. I want more, more, more. Because we're going to have to buy seeds on the first of summer. So I may as well invest now. And now I'm going to go and grab my pickaxe real quick. At least mining will be a lot easier now. Hello, Clint. I love that Clint is just still himself. No one wanted to swap with him. <laughs> That's so sad. Thanks for the copper pickaxe, Clint. Like, bless his little heart. I feel so bad for him. He always draws the short straw. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I think this is big enough for all of these seeds. So I'll plant these all down. Nice, we've got a big patch of kiwi pies now. I do want to get rid of that grass so it doesn't destroy anything. And I'm also going to chop the tree down as well because it is in my way. Okay, nice. This is looking good. Oh, I wonder if the scarecrow actually reaches. Let me check. Just about if I move him down here. Okay, the fish are calling me, so I'm going to answer to them and let's go fishing. That's such a weird way of putting it. I'm sorry. If it was a good luck day, I'd definitely be in the mines right now, but I'm going to wait until the luck is a bit better. I'm going to come and fish in this river in the evening because there is that fish I could get again. The anchillo or something it was called. God, the rain is making my eyes go weird. I hate it. Okay, on to our next fishing location in the town. Let's try and get this fish needed for the community center, of course oh my god it's a free-eyed fish that's so scary i don't like it yay okay we got the anchoa i'll be able to donate that for sure ew we got another one of the octopki <laughs> they're so creepy they remind me of like the simpsons movie or something i don't like them i feel like one of their eyes is gonna blink at me it's a no from me actually on that one i'm realizing that these fish are so hard and these are just regular fish like what are the legendary fish from this mod gonna be like i don't even want to think about it they're gonna be impossible 
Okay, that is quite enough of fishing, I think, for today. It's so hard. Like, it literally takes so much focus. I suppose maybe some of those were like the equivalent of catfish because they were like spring fish that are available in the rain. Maybe that's why it was so difficult. Either way, we managed to get the anchoa, so that's good. I don't think any of these other ones are donatable, unfortunately. No. Oh no, I needed to get a gold quality lime pear. I'm going to have to buy some more lime pears, I'm realizing, and maybe plant them with fertilizer because we didn't get one of those. Ours was just a base quality, so that's a bit stressful. Okay, that's something to keep in mind for tomorrow then. I'm also going to run to Gus's on the way back home as well, just to see if there's any food items that we're in need of. We do have a little bit of money left. It is absolutely wild to see a wizard working here and even more wild to see a child in the saloon. <laughs> I hate it. 13 complete breakfasts is their special item. Love that. Unfortunately, we don't need a complete breakfast. Okay, I'm running home now. We'll buy some lime pear seeds tomorrow then. And I can craft some fertilizer, I think. We did get the recipe, although I don't know what it uses. Um, Basic fertilizer. Oh, it just uses wood. Okay, we can easily do that. It won't necessarily give us a gold quality, but we'll see. I'll buy like 10 lime pears, maybe. Gonna sell all these fish. We got quite a few today. I feel like we at least done a grand. Come on. Okay, and let's sleep for the night. Yay! Oh my god, we actually earned one and a half K. One and a half K is not bad. Let's go. We can definitely buy some seeds with that money. And it is a neutral day. Oh, and salmon berry season as well. I'm going to take a neutral day and go to the mines with it. I feel like we've missed the mines this episode. I just want to get mines in. There is so much to water now. I kind of didn't think this through, did I? I never really think. Oh, and we need to get our scythe because the muck fruits are ready. Ew, a lemo plum loved by Lord Holly for its chunky taste. Like, what does... What does chunky taste mean? I don't like that. <gasps> Yay, we leveled up to level three farming. We might now get the basic sprinkler recipe, I hope. <laughs> I have a bunch of these muck fruits, but they barely sell for anything, but I also can't eat them. So I just don't know what to do with them, really. <laughs> They're just very useless to us. And I have no energy as well. Take the leek and the horseradishes to eat and maybe the apple as well. They do sell for quite a bit though. Like I feel bad eating the things that sell for a lot. Oh, the star yams don't sell for too much. Okay, I need to make 13 basic fertilizer and then we can buy... Oh, that's 14. And then we can buy 13 seeds to plant. Give us the lime pear seeds, please. We need 13 of them. Hopefully we get a gold quality one from those. We really should. 13 is quite a lot of seeds. And we'll plant these down. Yo, their seeds are huge. Dang. Perfect amount though. I'm being very mathematical in this series, apparently. And let's go and scavenge all of the salmon berries that we can get on our way to the mines. Okay, we managed to get a few bushes. There weren't tons though. We only managed to get four salmon berries, but it will help us a little, I guess. Okay, let's mine, shall we? Yay, these rocks are only two hit. Oh my god, give me the ladder. <laughs> I've almost cleared the entire floor. What the heck? It was right there. Are you joking me? Yay, we made it to level 50. Ooh, a corn Sam hater of royalty. Okay, level three. Great, it's worse. It does less damage than our snom branch. The names of these weapons are wild, I can't lie. <laughs> I wonder if I should go and sell my weapons at the Adventurers Guild real quick and just see how much they sell for. Like, will that be worth doing? I'm going to do it. I want to see how much they all sell for, you know? It won't take too long. Might get a little bit of money from it, you know? Hi, QI. Okay, let's sell all these. Okay. Oh my god. There's a bloomin' meat club. <laughs> Sharp grandma's coin spinner. Whoa. Yo, look at the shoes. <gasps> so cool. Wicked Anshin Spoon of Greed. The names of these. Dang. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with what we've got right now, I think. Let's get back to mining. We want to reach level 60 as soon as possible. That is in the back of my head, at least. Oh, we just got our first piece of slime from a ghost. I guess that makes sense. They're kind of slimy beings, aren't they? Yay, down to 55. Can we get to 60 today? That's my goal. We don't have much to eat, unfortunately. <laughs> This might be a mistake, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to see if we can go any further. I should really leave. I have no food. <laughs> Give me the ladder, please. Oh, I'm exhausted. I've got to go. Am I going to die here? Maybe. 
Is there a freebie anywhere? No, I should leave. There's a bat. It's also 11 p.m. So run for your life, Lil. Oh, I'm pretty good, though. We got down 10 floors in the iron levels, too. And we got a bunch of stuff, too. So I'd say that's pretty good going. I'm going to bring this all home with us. I don't think anything we got is donatable, though, unfortunately. Well, we did get two clay, actually. That is donatable. But we need a lot more of it first. <laughs> Up to 13 clay now. Woo! Just um, 34 left to go. Yo, we got the sprinkler recipe finally. Level 3 farming. And we finally got the sprinkler recipe. We also got the farmer's lunch. I don't think that's needed for the community center. I think we might have a foraging day and maybe like chop some wood or something. I don't know. Got a lot to water first though. So let's get watering. Okay, that took ages and like all of my energy, but at least it's done. And Pierre is now selling fertilizers. Okay, wait, I can go and buy the fertilizers we need to donate maybe. I wonder if he's selling the right ones that we need. We should go check that out today maybe. And I also do want to collect a bunch of salmon berries today as well. We'll make the most of salmon berry season for sure. Let's actually go and check out the fertilizers that Pierre is selling. Which fertilizers do we actually need? We need 15 quality fertilizer. Okay, let's see if he's selling that. Um, skip. <laughs> I think that's the Morris cutscene. Would have been funny to see who Morris was actually. Speed grow. Okay, we don't need speed grow. We need quality. Come on. Don't we have to buy some of these? saplings i'm pretty sure there was one that was needed right the arty barb seed maybe oh my god it's so expensive <laughs> i need to step up my money making skills i do i do okay we can't buy anything from here then i thought they'd have a quality fertilizer that's a shame oh my god evelyn ew so I know that's just like a visual bug because they, I think someone in the comments said like they don't have the right pose for the character, but that is creepy. I'm sorry. Okay, we're just having a little random running around kind of foraging day today. I want to try and grab as many salmon berries as possible, of course. Oh, I should really open the other side of the beach as well. If I can accumulate enough wood maybe today, 300 pieces we need still. Because that means more forage, which also means more money. Oh, I should also check what is needed to make a basic sprinkler. Fire quartz? No. <gasps> we have to get to level 80 for that. And Jojo Cola and mix seeds. Are you joking? Okay, well, don't we have to make like a bunch of those? How many do we need again? We need five of those. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> it's so hard. Why is everything so hard? <laughs> Can't they just give me some easy things just to like, you know, balance it out? Oh, I forgot about Robin's axe. Let's grab that. That's an extra 250 gold, I think. There's so many salmon berries down here as well. And like half a million spring onions. What? I'm going to grab all of these. Dang, we got food for days now. Let's go. Okay, I have been foraging all day. We've gotten a load of salmon berries. I have had to eat quite a few too to chop trees <laughs> and we're almost at 300 wood. I'm going to keep chopping trees until we hit 300 so we can unlock that little bridge at the beach. But it's been quite a nice productive little cozy day of foraging. I actually love wood chopping days. I don't know. It's very calming. I could just switch off my brain. Sometimes I love the grindy monotonous parts of games like this. Like that's why I love farming sims so much. It really allows me to turn my brain off. Okay, this will be the final tree I think we need. Heck yeah, we can go and open that bridge now. Let's do it. Hopefully there is a bunch of forage on this side of the beach. Please let there be loads. Well, there's a bunch of coral. Coral actually sells for quite a bit, doesn't it? Well, not quite a bit, but you know, every little helps. Oh, we actually need sea urchins for the community center as well. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, a library book? Really? It could have been clay. It could have been clay. Every time I get a library book now, I just think to myself, could have been clay. We need 47 pieces. Speaking of which, I'm just going to use the rest of my energy to hoe the beach because I know that the beach gives clay sometimes and I don't know how to clay farm, but you know, you feel me? <laughs> okay, we haven't had a single piece of clay. Please. It's basically a way to hard force clay with a certain pattern, but I evidently do not know it and I've just wasted all my energy and got zero pieces. So that's fun. That is really, really fun for me. Yeah. I'm going to sell a couple of these pieces of coral. Keep the sea urchins though, because they are needed for two bundles, I believe. 
I'm gonna pet my kibby as well. Okay, nice. We got a lot done today. I think we could do a community center drop off pretty soon. We've gotten quite a few things now, like four items and the clay is, you know, it's slow, but it's there. And we leveled up in foraging and got the charcoal kiln. Fun. I mean, considering one piece of coal makes a bomb, that is kind of basically a bomb maker for us which is helpful for the mines, I'd say. So actually, arguably, the charcoal kiln is quite helpful for us. Oh my god, we're making no money. We need to step it up. Come on. <laughs> okay, is Mara's... No, it's Sebastian's birthday. I don't really know who to gift to in this run because there are definitely people we need to gift. Oh my god, look at these. <gasps> they look wild and cool. Oh, and the lemon plums are ready. Harvest those less to water woo! <laughs> but yeah there's definitely some people who we do need to gift because we need to get some of the recipes i need to like sit down and go through who we need to gift though because i don't want to just do random people you know i only want to gift them if they're needed which sounds terrible but you know it's a challenge so we don't think about emotions here we switch off our emotions for the betterment of the challenge basically okay that's all watered looking pretty nice I would quite like to upgrade my axe today. I think that's something I want to do so we can clear wood faster. I think today has got to be another fishing day, unfortunately. I'm going to forage for salmon berries and then probably fish afterwards. I feel bad about it because this challenge has made me hate fishing, but it is sort of needed. Also, I might sell a bunch of this void essence because we're just collecting a lot of it. And, you know, individually it doesn't sell for a lot, but like if I sell a bunch of it, it gives us a bit of income. I'm just gonna sell 12 pieces for now like i'm just trying to make money wherever i can really literally the squid ink is such a good strat someone commented that they cringe every time i bin squid ink because it sells for so much and they're so right i need to make sure i'm selling my squid ink <laughs> so i definitely will keep an eye out for that and i'll try not to delete it because it sells for 110 each which is huge really from just like slimes i think from basic level slimes that is a hugely profitable monster drop so i will definitely stay aware of that thank you for all the tips in the comments by the way i really do be looking and trying my best to take them on board so do make sure you're giving me any tips if you have any because they help me a lot <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, I have a lot of hours in this game, but I'm kind of still a noob at it. It's like information goes in one ear and just straight out the other. So yeah, I do apologize if you have to tell me about 10 times before I start to realize things. <laughs> but I'm trying. I don't think hardwood was really needed for any of the recipes, but upgrading our axe is still just nice. I don't know. I just hate having them be basic, you know. It just feels like a worthwhile thing to do whenever we have a bit of cash. Also, I don't know if we need to buy a coop. Like so far, we haven't had an animal bundle, but I don't know if they're going to just spring one on us when we get the bulletin unlocked or something. That's why I really do want to unlock some more of the bundles because I want to know what we're up against, you know, because we might not have to get any animal products in this playthrough. I don't know. That would be great. It would save us a lot of money, but I think we will have to get some. I just want to unlock more bundles so I know for sure. <laughs> No, please. That is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Why is Pia absolutely terrified of gardening? <laughs> oh, that's brightened my day. It really has. Okay, firstly, let's process these free geodes that we have. See if we get anything new from them. Thank you for trying, Clint. Hopefully there was something new. And then let's upgrade our axe to bronze. All of my money has now gone very sad moment for me <laughs> and then we can do a drop off at the museum we've got a few things to donate we're stacking up here this is good oh a new reward as well is emily okay is she meditating in the library that's kind of a vibe actually i love that for her nothing useful for us with the rewards unfortunately let's do a little quick run up to the community center to drop some things off Okay, we have the sea urchin for the purple bundle. Oh, I do need a piece of speed grow. I need it for the purple bundle. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to have to go and buy that then. We also need a sea urchin for the winter foraging bundle. Almost complete. Oh, I just wish I had one of these items. I need to finish a bundle. And finally, we have some items for the flower bundle as well. Two more needed for this. Okay, progress, but it doesn't feel like it because nothing got completed. I'm going to run to Pierre's and buy a piece of speed grow for that bundle. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess I won't do that then. I suppose I'll just fish instead. 
I'm just going to set up camp here for a bit today and fish till my heart's content, which it won't be content because I hate fishing. So till my heart is uncontent. <laughs> Oh, and I just realized, I think this is the final day of the episode. <laughs> I kind of forgot how many days I was doing per episode, but I'm pretty sure this is the sixth day. So yeah, it's good that we're fishing, I guess. To uphold tradition of fishing on the final day, I will grab this chest real quick. Look at this suspicious meeting above us. Emily, Demetrius and Elliot, what do they have in common? What do they need to discuss? I am very perplexed by this. Also, we got some gold. Nice. Okay, and once again, that is enough fishing for today. <laughs> it's so hard. I know I'm continually moaning about fishing. That's kind of the theme for this series. I swear to you, it's so much harder than usual. I don't know if I'm just like out of practice, but I did loads of fishing in the no buy challenge and all of that was easier. I'm just struggling, I think. But alas, we're trying our best and that's all that matters. Okay, bedtime for the final time this episode. Ooh, what was that? We got an achievement or something? <gasps> Yo, wait, we made loads of money today. Okay, that's like the most we've made in ages. 2,500, let's go. Day 18, oh my God, only 10 days left of spring. That's wild. Oh, we got the greenhorn achievement, let's go. But on that note, I will be wrapping up. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments as always. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.